Hey guys, BrickWizard59 here, and welcome back to another video. And today we're going to take a look at my custom LEGO Imperial Troop Transport. Now, for those of you who have been following my channel for some time, you know I have already actually made a version of this in the past. But, I ended up, uh, since then, it's been almost two years since I made my previous version of this build. And since then, I have increased, uh, improved the stability of the overall model as well as added a lot more accurate features that were kind of seen uh, primarily in the Star Wars Rebels TV show as well as uh, from reference pictures online as when I had made it last time it I was also limited of P, uh, with parts and I kind of didn't have as many reference pictures as we have nowadays um, but basically we got some nice uh, again details on the front which have been changed as well as on the inside so today we're just going to take another complete review of my LEGO Imperial Troop Transport. So let's go ahead and get started. Alright, so here we have a look at the Imperial Troop Transport. Now, uh, let's go ahead and just start off with a bit of a 360 degree spin. So here we have a look at the front of the model. Um, I really do of course like, as I said, this was in the previous model as well, but using uh, tiles on the front, um, which are placed on their side, that gives it a really nice look. Um, of course, it kind of sticks out a bit compared to the black, which is actually supposed to be uh, the windshield. Um, and I think that looks really good. Um, but anyways, one of the big changes here, of course, are that the blasters are changed. Um, before, I had lightsaber parts, and the only problem with those were that the lightsaber parts would stick out like this. So they were um, pretty inaccurate. Um, but these guns are thinner, a bit smaller, but at the same time, uh, a lot closer to the ones included in the model. Um, now let's go ahead and take a look at the side view here. Uh, we have quite a bit here. And this again was a bit of a challenging task. Um, again, uh, getting the pieces to really like angle. Because if you could see here, the entire side here is angled. And I think that looks really good. Once again, that was in my previous model. Now over here, this is where a lot of the changes have come. So these are your um, troop compartments. So you can basically fold these downward and you reveal um, spaces where you can actually pop in your stormtroopers. So I'll just pop one in right there and you close that up. So you move his hands here and he fits in like so. Now, one of the big things I changed here was in the previous one, um, in the previous model I basically used uh, like, so these are like the one by three slopes. Um, in the previous model I'd used two one by two slopes stacked on each other so the slope would come all the way up till this point right here which is very inaccurate um, as in the actual model the compartments only came down till this point here and then they actually had just uh, uh, like a flat part on the top instead of having the, slant, the slanted compartment come all the way here um, but anyways I think that looks really good also I added some nice slope tiles um, on each side as we'll get, take a look at the other side as well but I think that looks really nice moving along to the back here we have um, again I just shortened the back side here by two studs and of course we have a door now which you can uh, lift open like so and that ends up revealing a way into the back side and you can actually again for um, like cargo transport you can end up using this back door so let's go ahead and close that up and now let's go ahead and take a look at the other side which once again is exactly identical same thing you have your three troop compartments and then again the door and yes these doors do open up I forgot to show you on the other side and that ends up revealing the interior and lastly we have a look at the roof now the roof of course has one turret here which spins 360 degrees. I did improve that from the previous version where I did include um, just regular Lego sticks with a lightsaber on the front and I think that looks a lot better. Now in terms of the interior, basically what you need to do, it's quite straightforward. You can just lift this entire piece up like so, as seen there. And then here's just a look at how it works. You have a lot of those modified plates with studs. Um, for it to e be easily removed. And now in terms of accessing the interior, you can actually just pull all of this back like so. And that kind of gives you a bit of a better look at the interior. 
Um, and let's go ahead and take a look here. Um, now, I did add a actually a lot more detailed interior. So I had, um, looked at some of these Star Wars Rebels episodes for reference. And you have your two control panels here, as well as this piece. This is like where your hologram would be displayed. It's like your hologram table. And then you have two spots there for um, pilots. They can just sit right over there. And you can end up fitting at least two more minifigures sitting down behind that or standing. So that's really cool. A lot of room there. And then here we have a look at the um, backside. Um, and I did actually end up fully enclosing it compared to the last model. And I used slope, so it looks really good on the interior. Um, but there's just a ton of blank space because in the TV show, they never really show you what's back here. Um, and there are no reference pictures of what hap what comes in the back compartment, which kind of sucks. But uh, I just made it pretty much empty. Had a small clip there for a couple blasters. And then you have a space here. And this is pretty large. You can fit one of the orange crates from any of the Rogue One sets. You can fit up to like four or five troopers in here. So it's definitely quite a large uh, interior. You can fit almost up to ten troopers almost. Um, in the entire troop transport. So it's definitely quite large. But there is a look at the Imperial Troop Transport. Alright, but there you go. Thanks for watching this review of my Imperial Troop Transport mock up version number 2. So, thanks for watching. Tell me what you guys thought about the video. Did you enjoy it? If so, definitely give it a thumbs. this video a thumbs up. And do not forget to subscribe down below. Also, if you've seen the previous model, how do you like it compared to that one? Do you like the new improvements? Do you not? I'd like to hear all about that down in the comments below. And if you want to know how to build this model, I do have a tutorial on my first version of this model. So I'll put that down in the links, uh, uh, link below. And also, just to make the updates, you can pretty much uh, just look at the model from this video. But anyways, thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for more content coming on the channel very soon. Um, and I will be having an update video very soon on that. But thank you so much for watching. This is Brick Wizard 59 and I'll see you all next time.